Hey guys, it's Malworth Under Sand video, and today I'm going to talk about the subject that was requested by someone about if this line down here makes the stamp worth more money or if the stamp is just worth its normal catalog value. Recently in the comment section of a lot of my videos, I've been getting this question, so I'm super happy to tackle this and do some research about it. So I actually went to my personal collection and I was able to find three different stamps with this line variation. Now, just to be more specific with what I'm talking about, if you look closely here, you guys will notice that there's actually a faint line on the right side there on this stamp. This one is probably the best example I have. There's actually a line on the right side, right there. And the stamp I just showed you, there's actually a line on the bottom. Let's get the focus. There you go. So a lot of people have been asking me about this um, line. Now this line, where does it come from? Um, what's its deal? I'm going to talk about it in a second. But first, let's do a little research. So I just went on to Google and I typed in, red line or green line rare stamp and as you can see these stamps are listed as a lot of money so you've got one that was 2000 this one's 360 339 so these prices are super super high look there's one right there on the right that has the exact same line as these stamps i'm talking about listed for 2500 there's an older washington right there listed for about 200 dollars. one for 500 so we got to get to the bottom of this because if i do have 500 dollars stamp sitting on my desk right now i'll be super excited but i'm gonna be honest with you guys i am actually not sure about this um just from doing my research and then i did also um pull up a green line stamp um for you guys to check out oh there's the one on the right that looks exactly like mine 500 dollars. just doing some research looking down and this is stuff you can do on your own guys if you want to look you can find these stamps easily 3700 395 what is going on? 699. Keep going. 2100. Keep on going down here. 35. So that one's not worth as much money, apparently, for whatever reason. Then we'll keep going. 49,000. That's probably not true. $600. But what's really interesting is if you come back up here, and I'll show you guys this, there's actually a stamp right there that is listed as $1 on the left side. And if we just scroll back up to where we were a second ago, the exact same stamp is listed for $5,000. So that's just super, super weird. So let's figure out why this is. Give a shout out to my guy, Don Denman. He is the one who I am pulling this information from. I will leave the link to the actual site where I got this information from. But as you can see, stamps back in the day, they were, they were actually printed on four, four different sheets. And the lines in the middle there that you see that are red were actually there to show where to cut the stamps in half so then they could ship them all over the country so that red line and green line are actually pretty common and i don't think they're worth that much money now since we figured out how the lines got there now i'm actually going to show you guys where my stamps would actually fall into the pain the planes here so as you can see we have a line like i said on the right side so this one could have been there and please forgive my rough drawing here of the four um, stamp blocks here, but that one could have been there with sharing the line in the middle. That one could have been there sharing this line. And then I actually have this one, which has a line as you have seen on the bottom. So that one could have been there sharing the line. So as you can see, you can have a line on the right side, left side, top or bottom of it. It doesn't matter. Stamps can be located all throughout where these sheets were cut in half. And that's where your stamp uh, might fall. So. Final question, does this make the stamp worth more money than a normal perforated stamp? And I hate to break the news to you guys who've been watching this long, but they're actually considered slightly less desirable than stamps that have full perforations all the way around by serious collectors. Now, I'm sure you can find a few people that collect these types of stamps and maybe try to make a full sheet or full line of stamps with this um, line variation, but to most collectors, these are not worth as much as a normal catalog value. So, my word of advice to you guys, if you see someone on eBay selling a stamp 
that we saw earlier for $2,000, $300. Stay away from that eBay seller. They know nothing about stamp collecting. Um, and I'm just happy that I can make this video and maybe help one of you guys not make that mistake of thinking you have a very valuable stamp um, when you don't. Um, and also not make the mistake of buying a stamp that is valuable that is not. So if you guys want to know um, any more uh, variations, have any more questions about, you know, stamps in general like this one. I thought this was a great question because I've seen those stamps on eBay and I was curious about them. So it was fun for me to do some research. But if you guys have any more questions like this, let me know. But as always, I appreciate y'all. Thank y'all for watching.